Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so we are at the very tail end of the guide. We keep scrolling down the table of contents. Uh, we are here to all good things must come to an end. We did uh, we did the merges last time, so let's head down there, and we're going to do the post install ini tweaks. All right, so uh we're gonna edit the skse ini the first he says the first step in editing is to create it well we already created it we created it right at the beginning of the guide so um this is actually just kind of a copy paste error but anyway let's grab mod organizer let that load in now we're gonna look for skyrim script extender so so let's just sort this by name. That'd be easier to find that way. And we'll go to Skyrim Script Extender. There it is. And we'll right click and we'll open an explorer. I'll drag this over here so you guys can see. So we got the SKSE folder and there's the INI file. We had made this earlier. So let's go ahead and um, open that. <laughs> Again, I'll drag it over here. It's opening up on my other screen. Okay, so this is the stuff that we had put in previously. So let's go ahead and pull up our web page. We're going to add this stuff right here. Display content resolution and paste it in. And we'll go ahead and save and close that. And there you go. We're done with that. Now let's Go to the Skyrim uh, INI. So to get to Skyrim INI, we'll just we'll we'll open Mod Organizer Tools, Edit INI at the top of the window. So I think it's this one. Yeah, Tools, INI Editor. Okay, so you guys remember this. So we're gonna make a couple of extra tweaks in here. We're gonna go to the Grass section and. And grab all of this. IMAX grass was seven. Let's see if we could find it. Grass was up bottom. There it is. So we'll add that in. Save that. All right. So that's it for Skyrim I and I. So now we'll do the same thing for Skyrim prefs. So we're going to change the particles to IMAX is already equal to 6,000 in the eyes Skyrim prefs. So let's go find that. Particles. This is a little bit harder to look through. Particles, there it is. So we already had 750 set here. So I'm going to take this one out. And we'll set it to 6,000 and we'll save that. Okay, we should be good. So we got the grass and we got particles. Close that out. I always like to go back in and double check and make sure it's stuck. Sometimes it has issues with not sticking. Let's see if I can find it again. There it is. All right, yeah, it looks good. And there you go. We just finished that entire section. That was pretty easy, right? All right, conflict resolution, guys. This can be either very, I wouldn't say tricky, uh, long, or it can be very short. We're going to take the short version. But I'm going to show you guys how to do the long way, because it, it does. Uh, it's useful to, to know how to do this. Um, because we will actually be doing this when we add our, my, own, my own mods, probably starting next week. So you can see... He's got this whole sub guide, and there's a huge list of stuff. I mean, look at look at all this stuff. This would take us eight weeks to get through if we did this manually. The way to do this, let's see. I don't think we can. Can we pop open? Yeah, we can pop open TES5 Edit in here. So, run TES5 Edit, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let everything load. Okay, there you go, guys. We're done. So you can see it took a minute and a half to. To load everything in. All right. So the first thing we need to do is filter it. So let's right-click just on any thing; it doesn't really matter. And we're going to say a 
apply filter. Ah, oh, yeah, there we go. So all this stuff you can pretty much leave at default. Make sure you've got this override without conflict off and single record off. So everything else on. All these in this box should be on. And make sure conflict status inherited by parent is on. Everything else you can leave alone. Um, I don't think there's anything else we need in here. Um, yeah, leave leave all the other stuff the way it's supposed to, uh, the way it is. All right, so we'll go ahead and filter that. Okay, guys. So our filtering is done. So we've got various colors here. So, uh, and what this means is that the red color means we've got a conflict somewhere. Okay. So all this stuff we've done is really uh, to this point has been an effort to keep this to a minimum. But there's certain things I, you know, that we just couldn't do any other way. This is kind of the, the last resort, basically, to, to conflict resolution. Uh, we, we've installed patch files, we've, uh, we've merged some stuff, but then you get to the end and there's, there's these conflicts. And you gotta do something about a lot of these. Now, you're not gonna get everything from red over to green doing this, and, nor should you. Um, sometimes conflicts are desired. I know that, that may be a little bit strange, but anyway, okay, I, I won't get too too deep into that. It's a little bit technical. So anyway, let's let's do a couple of examples so we understand how to do this. So, all right, so conflicts and fixes. So the first one is armor category. So the conflict resolution. Use record from clothing and clutter fixes ESP. So let's go find that clothing and clutter clothing and clutter fixes ESP. So let's see if we can find clothing and clutter fixes. Um, unfortunately, I don't think there's any way to, oh yeah, I guess we can, we can, uh, do them by name. Okay. Clothing and cutter fixes ESP. So let's grab this, let's pop it open and we're looking for the armor. There's the armor. All right. There we go. So you got this whole list of stuff, right? And if you click on these things, you'll start to see where the conflicts are. Okay. So for example, let's see if we can find one that's interesting yeah here so the wedding ring so the original file had these settings clothing and clutter fixes changed them to these settings so the value went way up and uh, they renamed something there's a template apparently um, and then complete crafting overhaul changed it again to 1110 so there's a conflict between these values right so this is what it originally was. This is the new fix. And then it, it got changed. So there's a conflict. So this is the kind of thing that we're trying to fix. Okay. So what we want to do, okay. Use record from clothing code fixes. So the record is DLC two skull clothes child. Okay. So we're looking for, okay, there it is. Whew. So you can see just finding these things can, can actually be a pain in the, in the backside. What I'm going to do is what we're being instructed to do. Now we don't want to change, we could just go in and change this value and just move it into here, but you don't want to change your mods. Okay. We want to, we want to create a, a patch file. All right. So let's look at what he's telling us to do. He says, use the record from clothing and clutter fix at ESP, then move the RNAM race from ours children complete USKP ESP. All right. So here's the deal. We've got a conflict here. We're, we're, we've lost a keyword. We, we had a keyword that was put in because of the armor rating that was changed, um, which has get, gotten lost because RS children complete USKP overrode it, right? So this was the original, this is what it was changed to, and suddenly we lost it again. So what I'm gonna do is go up to the top where it says clothing clutter fixes ESP, right click, and I'm gonna copy as overwrite into and yes, I'm sure. And I'm going to go all the way down and I'm going to click new file. And we're going to call this, let's see, what did he say? SR conflict resolution. I'm just going to copy this. I'm going to hit OK. Yes. So there you go. So now we've got a brand new file over here. And it's copied clothing and clutter fixes over into it right so now this is the last thing that's loaded and you can see we've lost this change um, so then what he wants us to do is 
move RNAM race RNAM race from our sodium complete OS gate. So we're gonna go back into the, the deal. I'm just gonna grab this thing and I'm gonna drag them over here. And there you go. You can see the, the record turned green and we're good. So yeah, you might be might be one worried about some of these other things. I mean the rest of it we're not gonna worry about. So um, let's do one more, just to kind of go over a little, a, a little another case. So we're going to look for a MIDI-born content add-on ESP. Okay, so let's go there. Let's close this up. There it is. Let's pull that open, and we're looking for armor add-on. Okay, guys, so let me show you another way to, to find these things, since just kind of uh, hunting these down can be a little bit tricky. This number that it gives you, in this case, is a little bit tricky. Grab this. There's an easy way to find this stuff, except for this one, we've got to change the XX. Index of a media born content add on ESP. So let's see. Let's go here, which is 49. So if you go up into form ID and you hit that number in there, and I'm going to change those first one to 49 and you hit return. There you go. So you can see it's under a media born content add on ESP. Okay, so this brings up the 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 record. Okay. Now actually you can't if I pop this open and kind of close all this stuff up. Just to show this to you guys. So what he's he's after here is uh armor add-on which if you look here, actually isn't here. And the reason it isn't here is because there's no conflict. Um, and this thing is only gonna show you where the conflicts are, right? So you, you can't really pull it up over here. Um, what's happened is there's an error in the file. So what he's saying is use a record for MIDI even on ESP. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna right click up here like we did before, copy as override into, and this time instead of saying create new file, we're gonna just click the conflict resolution. Yes. So there you go. And then in the conflict was a resolution patch, we want to change the female world model alternate texture 3D name. So here, here, I'm going to pull this over here for just a second, guys. So we're looking for world model, which is probably hard to see without the colors, right? Here's female wood model. Alternate texture. 3D name to steel armor. So this one right here. We're going to edit. You want this to say steel armor, not steel armor light. And we're going to change the 3D index to zero. Okay. So there you go. Drag this back over here. So three names to so error in the MIDI and a content prevented to display the female steel armor with white fur texture. Alright, so there you go. Anyway, so yeah, that's how you do this, guys. This is kind of the, the general procedure. Alright, we're not gonna do it that way. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is I'm going to close this down and I'm not going to save this. Just hit OK. And I don't think it should have added in. Let's see. Let's go by priority. No, it shouldn't be in here because I didn't save anything. Yep, we're good. OK, what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to grab this pre-made conflict resolution patch rather than go through all this stuff. I mean, you can see I just went through two of them and it took me like 20 minutes. This would take us forever to go through all these things. You can do it if you want to, but he's got a pre-made conflict resolution patch. So let's go grab it and I'll save that. And there you go. There's the ESP. Okay. So let's grab that to install this. Let's see, I always forget how to do this. So we're going to go into Mod Organizer Path Mods SR Conflict Resolution Folder. SR Conflict. 
Network Resolution 4. Okay, so let's go to our mod organizer. And we'll go to mods. And we're going to make a new folder. And we're going to say SR Conflict Resolution. Okay. All right. Then we'll go into our download folder, which is on the E drive for in my particular instance. And we'll go to downloads. And there it is. And we're going to go to change that to F. We're going to go to uh, mod organizer. We're going to go to mods and SR conflict resolution. There it is. So I'm just going to drag this into here. There we go. There it is. We'll close that and then I'll right click here, all mods, refresh. And it should be at the bottom. There you go. And then we'll turn it on. And there you go. We just did all this stuff. <laughs> all right. So we're done with conflict resolution. So author recommended fixes. We don't need to worry about this because we've, we've done it. Uh, if the downloadable SR conflict resolution ESP is used, these edits are already included. Okay, one thing I do want to say, guys, about the conflict resolution patch. I am using currently the old version, uh, the March 8th version of this guide. The actual conflict resolution patch, this, this, like, this page, was last updated May 28th, two, almost three months. Uh, later than the, the version I'm using. So what that means is I don't I can't get back to the um, the, the previous version because it, it's a download, right? So he's he just continually is keeping this up to date. What this means is This may be slightly different than the version that I'm using You know, this goes to the the current version the the, the May 28th version of uh, SL, SRLE. It doesn't go to the to March 8th one. So there, there might be some conflicts that were previously fixed, or there might be some new conflicts that are not applicable to my version. So this may not be a perfect match uh, if you're using an old version like I am. If you guys are, are using the current version, this won't be a problem. I'm just this, just kind of a disclaimer. So I may still have some conflicts that are not taken care of in, in my version that really should be isn't really much I can do about it um, other than trying to go into you know TES5 edit and try to figure out uh, you know what, what the conflicts are and try to fix them myself and uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not going to so we'll leave it as is so I might still have a little bit of instability in my particular version and that's just something I'm gonna have to live with but if you guys are using the current version of, of that that should have fixed most of your instabilities if not all of them. All right. Okay. So I think we'll stop here. Uh, we did the post INI tweaks and we did the conflict resolution, which is great. So at this point, we're going to head on to, or, uh, in the next video, we'll, we'll head on to doing loot and FNIS and, and Rybash um, and doing the scripts and all this stuff. And actually, I'm hoping to finish all this up right through here, the in game configuration. So uh, we'll see how it goes. Some of this stuff I'm not as familiar with, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> okay, guys, so um, we'll stop here, and we'll pick this back up in the next video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.